Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. I thought we'd go over a few issues raised by various comments I've received. Today, could God have prevented all evil? Well, we should probably start by taking another look at what evil really is before we address this question. Evil isn't so much a thing as it is a lack of a thing. It's when there should be something good present, but that goodness is not present. For example, when a dog has a bad leg, the health of the leg is absent. When a thief steals your stereo, respect for your property is absent. When an evil man cheats hundreds of people using fraud, moral fiber is absent. Evil is nothing more or less than an absence of some good which ought to be present, like an apple with a hole drilled through it. So, the question is, given the kind of world we live in, inside of time and space, and designed by God to fulfill a purpose, could God have filled in all of those holes with goodness? Well, since God is ultimately the source of all goodness, you would think that the answer would be obviously yes. Indeed, God could wipe out all evil if he were willing to do what it took. So what does it take? Let's test this with a thought experiment. A businessman decides to rip off his company and run with the money. Well, is the absence of good due to God's action? No, it was due to the action of the businessman. Because the businessman has some measure of freedom to choose his actions, he has the ability to cause evil, which God is no longer responsible for. Because of his free will, evil occurs where it didn't previously exist. Now, some people say the free will defense doesn't work well in light of God's omniscience. If I were God, I don't think I'd allow free will, but I'm not infinitely loving either. In fact, the free will defense works fine if there's some logical reason for God to allow free will to exist, a reason powerful enough to be worth allowing certain evil actions to take place. Fortunately, there are many possible reasons, some of which fall well within human understanding. Here's just one. God is a God of love. Love can only really exist between two or more parties, and therefore real love requires a loving response. A loving response can only be made by a being that possesses free will. Free will can only be exercised by the freedom to make choices. Choices involve something to choose between. Therefore, in order for God to be loved by us, we need to have the opportunity to refuse his love, to reject him through evil and or sin. So we have at least one viable explanation for the existence of evil which doesn't involve God being evil or neutral or anything but loving. Looking at it in this way, it's possible that eradicating evil would also rob human beings of the ability to be brought into heaven or to make any decisions for ourselves, and therefore this would be a great deal worse for humans than the continuing existence of evil, to say nothing of undermining God's whole intended plan for the world, the ascendance, improvement, and salvation of people. God's decision to allow evil to continue is, in a way, a magnanimous gift to mankind, the sacrificing of perfect order in the short term so that more people can be saved. I can be fairly sure that I'm not strong enough to make that choice the same way. Are you? Next, should God offer us more evidence of his existence? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.